Europe's last free nation was swept away by a wave of tyranny. The lifeboat of democracy lost in a storm of war. After the division of Poland, the Soviet Union's armies stayed peacefully behind their borders, while the United States, still upset over England's failed invasion of Norway, fully embraced isolationism. The Germans, emboldened by good weather and by Britain's Italian distractions in the Mediterranean, cleared the way for a direct assault, pummeling the capital with overwhelming air power as part of the most intricately coordinated assault yet seen in the war. They took the channel within hours, establishing supply chains to support the thousands of paratroopers now on British soil. British forces fought them in the fields and in the streets, but soon London had fallen and with it, the sun had finally set on the British Empire. But as the sun rose on a Germany eager to stamp out the stubborn English resistance, it also rose over an envious power in the Soviet Union.